Welcome to SHOT Show TV, I'm David Lombardo. I'm going to introduce our next guest by reading something that just came out this morning. Um, the President of the United States speaking before the National Action Network's annual Martin Luther King Day Breakfast. This is a quote from the President of the United States. He said, quote, the Second Amendment is useless because the government can crush you, unquote. Well, Michael I Cargill, what do you think of that? Well, I definitely have a message for the president, and he hasn't met Michael Cargill, and my job is to stand on <laughs> anyone's throat that thinks they're, they're going to take our Second Amendment rights away. So Michael is Cargill versus Garland, and that would be Merrick. That is correct. So, and it's about? So Cargill versus Garland is the bump stock lawsuit case, and this case is not just about bump stocks. Uh, this case is about the ATF uh, thinking that they can actually create and write law. So we brought the Cargill versus Garland case to pretty much say, hey, ATF, you cannot create law. That's for Congress. Uh, Congress, you know, and we all heard of that song, the Schoolhouse Rock song. Sure. Uh, how a bill becomes law. Well, it, it, someone in Congress writes a bill, it goes to a committee, they vote on it in both houses, it goes to the president, the president signs it, and that's how it becomes law. Not an agency within the federal government. And this case is bigger than, than guns. It's bigger than the Second Amendment. Sure. This case is about the EPA. This case is about OSHA. This case is about any federal agency that thinks that they're going to- They're all doing it. Overstep their bounds, right. which they are. Right. And we're saying, no, we're, we're gonna reel you in. We're gonna reel in that, that federal agency and, and, and put them back in that box where they belong. Well, I think, I mean, I think it's very intentional that the President of the United States has just let go. He's just letting them run amok. Right, and that's why we brought this suit. Um, we're, you know, reaching out to everyone. We're reaching out to like Gun Owners of America, uh, NAGR, uh, the NRA, to you know stand together, shoulder to shoulder, uh, because this case is a very important case. Cargill versus Garland uh, actually gives us a definition of machine gun. Uh, the Fifth Circuit did a great job in how they laid out this case. Uh, they said, okay, this is what a machine gun is. Uh, when you pull the trigger, you hold the trigger, shoots multiple rounds, more than one round, that's a machine gun. Uh, a semi-automatic is each pull of the trigger. When you pull the trigger, it fires one round, that's a semi-automatic. And so that was very good, very good outline, very good uh, diagrams that are in this case. Also, they talked about um, how the ATF can't create law, which is very important because right now we're looking at uh, the ATF coming against, uh, they're standing up and, and coming after our, our triggers. Uh, they're coming after AR pistols, AK pistols. They're coming after, um, you know, everything, every, all different little parts and stuff sure. like that. A brace. Yeah. And so we're saying this case, Cargill versus Garland, is going to stop them from coming after the brace. It's actually going to say, hey, ATF, hold on. You don't have the authority to do that. We have to wait for Congress to, to write a law. And so that's why we're very excited, but it's not over yet. We won this case in the Fifth Circuit, which okay. means that this case is only for Texas, Louisiana, and Mississippi. So, and which I had to say hi to the governor of Mississippi there, <laughs> let him know that you know, you know, my case gave him his bump stocks back. Yeah. So this is only for Texas, Louisiana, and Mississippi. And so we won in that case, which means that now the government's got to appeal this case to the Supreme Court. And if the Supreme Court takes up this case, then that means there's gonna be a stay. So I don't want anyone going in the backyard and digging up their bump stocks. I don't want anyone um, recovering their bump stocks from that boating accident. What I want you to do is just hold on, you know, lead, lead them where they are. boating accidents all over the That's country. That's right, lead them where they are and let us move this case forward to the Supreme Court. Because once it makes it to the Supreme Court, this case is gonna set precedence. Sure. This case is going to let all federal agencies, not just the ATF, not just, um, the DOJ, all, it's, all departments, all agencies let them know they can't overstep their bounds. That is for Congress to write a bill. And so once that happens, then bump stocks, um, tr triggers, uh, brace will become sure. fine in every state, all 50 states of this nation. I, I think a lot of people don't appreciate it. There are a lot of people who don't care about bump stocks. Right. And they just sort of write this off. But they're not understanding it's not the bump stock per se that's the issue. Right. It's the fact that the agency is doing whatever it feels like it wants to do. Right. And initially people came out when I filed this lawsuit and said that, well, Michael, 
you know, we really don't care about bump stocks. We really care about um, the other things. So they're not coming after the other things. So we're, we're going to let them take the bump stocks. And I said, no, absolutely not. Because if you give the federal government, you give them, let them take that inch, they're going to take a mile. It's the so, nose of the camel under the tent. And that is why I stood up and you filed bet. this case, Cargill versus Garland, because we've got to stop them and not let them go that extra mile. We got to stop them in their tracks right where they are. So I love walking by the ATF's booth and waving at, <laughs> at them as they're you know, in the show today, saying hi on, on behalf of Michael Cargill and let them know that I'm, I'm coming for you. Yeah, and, exactly. <laughs> so Michael, if people want to get a hold of you, they want to talk to you about this, how do they do that? All they have to do is go to michaelcargill.com um, and we have everything about the cases. There's more than one case where we have multiple cases. We're actually defending federal firearms license dealers because currently right now ATF is going after different dealers and over paperwork errors, sure. you know, simple mistakes. You yeah. walk into the gun store, you fill out the 4473 on the form, instead of putting the county on there, you're putting country. And then it's wrong. And because of that mistake, yep. they're shutting down federal firearms license dealers. Right. So we have filed a lawsuit against the ATF to stop them from shutting down dealers as well. So it's not, you know, we have multiple cases that we're moving forward with. Um, so this so is again, about government how do, overreach. How do they get a hold of you? So go to michaelcargill.com and they can find out everything about me, everything about the cases and okay. how we're moving forward to the Supreme Court. Keep fighting the good fight. Uh, thank you, sir. Appreciate it, my friend. Thank you. And for SHOT Show TV, I'm David Lombardo.